Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Michi Makes Up. I have the new Lisa Eldridge Luxuriously Lucent Lipsticks and Insanely Saturated Lipstick Shades to share with you guys today. I'll be doing swatches and demo plus comparisons against my existing Lisa Eldridge lip collection. They're right in the back here. Um, but before I forget, before I get into uh, the shades I picked up, I am wearing the new Dior Quint um, for eyeshadow. So I created just a very simple, easy, what I would consider a daytime look. Um, this quint is called Wild Raffia. Um, there will be a dedicated video to this as well. Um, so if you're interested, definitely stay tuned for this. It should be coming very soon. On to the lipsticks. Um, I picked up four shades, two from each of the lines, the formulation. Also, I wanted to do this real quick because I think it's kind of cool the way that she has designed her packaging and boxes that you could do the logo by pairing them together like this. Um, so, I mean, it's a minor detail, but I always get a kick out of it whenever I see it. So these are the four shades. And from the Luxuriously Lucent line, I picked up Rosy Shell plus Le Mepri. And I had really, I was really looking forward to a nude pinky shade, which I think Le Mepri is exactly that. And then Rosy Shell is just that, uh, again, another beautiful pink that I think will go well with my skin tone, my complexion. So that's why I was drawn to it. Uh, of course, there were several other shades from both formulations that I wanted to pick up, but I just had to be conscious uh, of my purchases. So that's what I went with. And let me go ahead and swatch them for you guys. So first we have Le Mepri. And I think this is just gorgeous. I mean, it looks gorgeous already. And that is pinky and nude. Actually, I love to take out some of my Wayne Goss lipsticks because he also has a fantastic um, set of nudie pink shades in his line. Um, so I, I definitely actually want to take that out. And then we have Rosy Shell. The Luxuriously Lucent line, these are your satin, um, comfortable, sheer emollient lipsticks. So your natural lip color does come through. Unless you're going for, you know, some of the deeper or brighter shades, then they become more pigmented. But I fully expect for my natural lip pigments to come through, something to be aware of. And then for Sunday Matinee, uh, this is moving on to the Insanely Saturated Lipsticks. Before I get into it, I just wanna look at that perfect bullet. These are her Demi Matte Finishes. So they're not like her Velvet Mattes. They're going to be a little bit different, but they're very, they're supposed to be very, very creamy and uh, as the name implies, very uh, saturated in pigment. Then we have New Wave, which is the boldest color I picked up this time around. Very excited for this. And that is New Wave. Okay, so let's start with the shades that are easier to remove, and that is going to be Le Mepri. That is with one application, and I would not be wearing this look with this lipstick. Uh, it's quite nude. In fact, I look kind of washed out. Um, I would be going with bolder, uh, bolder eye look and definitely a more pigmented blush. I'm going to go in with a second application. So that's with two applications. Um, I do love the shade. This is what I had in mind when I wanted something kind of uh, nude but pinky. Uh, but definitely uh, I would have to adjust my current makeup look for this lipstick because I think it does wash me out a bit. And frankly, I don't think this look really is all that in right now. Um, someone did ask me 
whether I thought the loosened formula was maybe a little bit high maintenance because if you do have dry skin, which I actually have dry skin on my lips, I did a light, light exfoliation. Um, didn't use any product, actually just used a um, microfiber cloth, wet it with some water and wiped my lips and then put on lip balm. But um, I could see some of the, you know, some of the dry skin on my lips. Some of it is a little bit raised, so once I go and take this off, it's going to exfoliate it once again. Um, I think I can get away with how it looks right now, um, but I think once we move into that Demi Matte formula, the Insanely Saturated, I think that's when you definitely want to exfoliate your lips and just make sure the surface is as smooth as possible because you're definitely going to see it more um, with that formulation. So let me take this off and we'll come back in and uh, swatch Rosy Shell. This is Rosie Shell, and I do think it is beautiful, uh, more beautiful than just from watching Lisa Eldridge's video plus the photos on her models. In fact, I don't think I have quite this pink in my collection because it's much cooler than what I have. And it's funny because I think it matches this blush that I used today really nicely. So this is Suku's Melting Powder Blush in O2 Haru Oto. And this is next to Rosie Shell. Um, different tones, but I think they're both on the cool side, which makes them a good match. Let me add a little bit more blush. Oh, I love that combination. I love this. We also do a second application. It's so beautiful. We might have a favorite. I have to try the other two shades first, but I love this. Moving on to the insanely saturated lipsticks. Uh, we'll first put on Sunday Matinee. Sunday Matinee. This is so pretty. Lisa Eldridge and her shades, she just nails it every time. And it is flattering on um, many different skin tones, um, whether you have medium, lighter, or deeper lip pigment. I mean, because of the deeper lip pigment that I have, um, I find that not every shade works for me. But the ones that do, which there's still a lot that do, um, I just find that this is, it, it's beautiful. It is just a little bit different from any other lipstick I have in my collection. Wonderful. Mm, the texture is very smooth and creamy. Uh, yes, it is creamier than compared to her True Velvet Matte lipsticks. Um, I'm curious about the stain power. I think I wouldn't say it's more emollient, it just feels creamier. So very curious, I'll have to wear these and kind of test how they um, transfer and how they wear throughout the day. Then here is New Wave. Wow, I love the shade. Um, it seems that the brighter plum, brighter like pink magenta shades from her uh, works well with my skin tone. So when I saw New Wave, I was instantly gravitated towards it. Uh, and th this was a good choice. I love that I picked this. Uh, definitely stands out. It's a statement lip. And um, as you can see, even with a uh, more daytime eye look and I did add a little bit more blush but it's still on the lighter side uh, it just kind of pulls everything together because this is the focal point of the look I love that transformation uh, let me do some comparisons now and I did want to also talk a little bit about uh, the reason why I didn't pick up rainbow spill or 
uh, Skyscraper Rose. Skyscraper Rose, as many of you guys have informed me, is actually quite similar, not the same, but similar uh, to, what is it, Carnival from her Velvet Matte line. And so I was, I was trying to decide, and we have a big Suku collection uh, for fall coming. So that's why I wanted to be very conscious of my purchase. So I was trying to decide, and ultimately I didn't go for Skyscraper Rose. Um, but for Rainbow Spill, I was really interested in that shade too. But I really had to ask myself, like, will I... Will I truly wear this? Will I be excited to wear this? It's a beautiful, beautiful color. It's a little bit more red leaning, which for me, reds, um, again, love a good statement red lip and all the different ranges of reds that you can get from Lisa Eldridge. But I just think it's not, I think shades like this is gonna win out more often than a red. So that's why I didn't pick up those two shades. Um, let's move on to some comparisons. I do want to compare Wayne Goss lipsticks against Le Mepris first. So I have Daisy here. Uh, this is one of my favorite nude pinky shades. So Daisy, you can see the similarities. Um, the Lucent Formula is more sheer or sheerer than um, the Wayne Goss lipsticks. And these lipsticks are considered satins too. Uh, they're comfortable, emollient, you know, creamy, but these are called lucent. Um, so more of your natural pigment will come through uh, when you compare it to the Wayne Goss formulation. So next I have Camellia, which is also a very nude shade. Uh, this one's more beigey than it is pink, I find. But there you go, it's actually quite similar to Le Mepri. I think it comes down, I think it's dupable actually. It probably comes down to like a texture difference and how thick and pigmented one is compared to the other, but these are very similar. So this is Camellia from Wayne Goss versus the um, Le Mepri from Lisa Eldridge. And then the third Wayne Goss lipstick is Magnolia. I think Magnolia is a shade that's gonna fall sort of between these two, Rosy Shell and the Mepri. Let me swatch it up here. Oh, actually it isn't, it's not. Um, it might look very similar, possibly even dupable compared to Rosy Shell but it's actually warmer than Rosy Shell, like notably warmer, but it has that fun, flirty pink to it. And then when it comes to the nude, nude color, I also have Sicily. I thought this might look similar. This is shade number 10. Some similarity, probably closer to Wayne Goss's Daisy then to Limit Plea. All right, moving on to Lisa Eldridge comparisons. We have Love of My Life, which I love to see against Rosie Shell. That's much brighter and warmer than Rosie Shell. And then we have Dan's Card. which I've swatched up here. Dan's card is also warmer and it's probably closer to Wayne Goss's Magnolia on this side than it is to Rosy Shell. But I think these are, you could say similar pinks. And then from the Velvet Matte formulas, I have Velvet Petal. Velvet Petal compared to Sunday Matinee. Sunday Matinee is more pink and I think there's a bit more plum in here. It is a deeper shade. Then my other absolutely favorite shade from Lisa Eldridge is gonna be Carnival. And this is also in a matte formula or a velvet matte formula. So it's Carnival, it is brighter and it is more red pink then it is purple uh, next to New Wave. 
So here are all the comparisons. I think we can find more similarities around this side here against Le Mepri. And then once we get into the um, brighter or more uh, pigmented, saturated shades, the differences are a little bit easier to tell, or at least I don't have as many in my collection to compare against. Well, that's everything I wanted to show you in this video. Let me know below what you ended up choosing from this launch. Uh, so many of you were excited. There were many of you who said, I am picking up every shade. <laughs> and I, I don't blame you. I think these are beautiful. Uh, they wear very comfortably. There were several of you who also told me that after you got into Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, you just don't find yourself buying other lipsticks. I, I understand that as well. Um, I thought these were... On the Lucent lipstick side, I thought these were great shades that she added to the lineup. And it was interesting that she brought back the insanely saturated formula. I don't, I was not, uh, I didn't have a makeup channel then when she first came out with the uh, insanely saturated formula. So I'm not really sure what, you know, what that was like then. And then what's the story behind bringing back this formulation and then adding new shades to it. But I think it's, it's beautiful. The shades, of course, are beautiful. Uh, curious how this is going to compare or stand against, like, time-wise with the velvet mattes. Um, so that's interesting, but maybe that's for another video. See you guys very soon in the next one. Um, I do have the Dior video coming uh, very soon here, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye!